You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. We have the potential for greatness. When you're great, you show it every day. You show it every way. You play your tails off when it's time to play. Nobody, nobody in that gold and black let the next guy down. Nobody. Play your plays the way you're supposed to. You've been coached hard. You've been coached well. Give it everything you got. Everything you got. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Let's get it done. Welcome into Charleston and Johnson Haygood Stadium where this afternoon the fourth ranked Wofford Terriers are in quest of a third straight victory looking to remain unbeaten in Southern Conference play as they take on the Citadel Bulldogs. The Terriers sit at 3-1 and one overall, 2-0 and oh in the league while the Bulldogs are 1-2 and two in the Southern Conference coming off a thrilling come from behind 28-27 win at Chattanooga a week ago. We've talked about the fact that Terriers are looking to make it three in a row. There's also another streak on the line as this afternoon Wofford looks to beat the Citadel for a 13th consecutive head-to-head -head meeting, a streak that the Citadel would like to go away. With that in mind, here are your highlights. Second and 14 from the 33, wide side of the field, wide to the right goes Burson. One receiver, Ashley to the short side, that's the left. Again, the wing bone, Johnson the fullback, fake of the dive, pitch near corner. That's going to be no sec, good yards, 25. He'll dance out of bounds near sideline, about the 20. First down and 10 at the Bulldog, 18 left hash. Ashley to the left, wide to the right, Burson out of the wing bone. Allen fakes the dive, cuts it upfield, running left to the 10. He's to the 5 as he's run down from behind and tackled there by by Austin Boyle the safety. Terriers now set up first and goal at the five on the left hash. This time they go to the pistol with Breitenstein behind Allen out of the gun. Two receivers right, one left. Johnson in motion toward the near side. Fake of the dive. Allen runs right on the option. Untouched! Touchdown Terriers as Mitch is across the goal line standing. Wofford puts together a gorgeous 73-yard drive to start the afternoon. Cass Cooey is the punter from Tampa, a redshirt junior. He'll take the snap at the 21-yard line from Thomas Oswald. Here comes the pressure. Just gets it away. Kind of a line drive spiral. Taken center of the field. Burson jukes a man at the 24. Near side. He's to the 30. Burson straight ahead. 40, 50. He's got blockers. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. That is a touchdown. Brenton Burson takes one back all the way for a score. Mark, the key on that play was Burson made that first wave of three or four guys all miss. He's got the speed to get to the end zone and did it. Great blocking. And the Terriers special teams coming up with a huge play. And the Terriers are up two scores here in Charleston. And again, two slots with a receiver short split to the left. Fake of the handoff to the fullback. And this time the Terriers get into the backfield and tackle Dupree for a loss. In motion left, Van Dyke Jones, quarterback Dupree running the option left and seeing is going to hit him for a loss in the backfield at the 35-yard line. Alvin Ciano having a big day already. Wideouts either side. Terriers three linemen down. Dupree, play action. Going to throw, and it is dropped. Incomplete. Pass was initially caught, but then the defender smacked down the receiver. James Zotto with the hit. Second quarter when we come back here in Charleston, your score, Wofford 14, the Citadel nothing. Terriers go on offense from inside their one-yard line. Breitenstein handoff, slants left, back to his right, breathing room as he crosses the 5 to the 10, almost all the way out to the 11. He may have a first down, first and 10 from the 25. Terriers in their end of the field, ball right right in the middle of things, and it's going to be a pitch near corner, and there is a run by Brian Yeoman to the 30. He'll go out of bounds close to the 34. They'll give him the 34 and a half. First and 10 Terriers from their 43. Two receivers left, one to the right. Out of the gun, handoff. Donovan Johnson, big yard slanting left. He's to the 50. Jukes inside, 45-40. Donovan Johnson finally corralled at the Bulldog 37-yard line. First and 10 at the Bulldog 37. Remember, this drive Drive started inside the one. In motion left, Andrew Young, two backs. Hand off right up the middle. Donovan Johnson, big yards again. 35-30, 25, drags a man down to the 21-yard line. 
Terrier second and four from the Bulldog 15. Wing bone with Breitenstein, the fullback. Fake of the dive, toss far corner. Yeoman jukes a man at the 10. He's to the five. That's a touchdown. Brian Yeoman. Touchdown, Terriers. 99-yard drive. That was impressive. Second and three from the 25, out of the gun this time. Allen turns, hands off, big room up the middle. Breitenstein, 30, jukes to his left, and he is upended at the 35. He gets 10 yards there. On second down and four, out of the wing bone. Allen running the option as room near side, 35-30. Mitch Allen to the 20-15. He will be pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line. First and 10, Terriers, a big run for Mitch Allen. Third down and a short yard at the Citadel three on the right hash. Wing bone with Burson split to the right. In motion left, no sec. Hand off up the middle. Breitenstein bangs into two defenders, churns, and he's in. Touchdown, Terriers, a twist. Twisting, turning, touchdown run for Eric Breitenstein. Powerful run, great surge from the offensive line. They're certainly clicking right now. As the first half comes to a close and the Terriers will take a four touchdown lead into the locker room. Wideouts either side, again two slots and a fullback, man in motion to the near side. And Miller faking the dive and he'll be wrestled down for a loss in the backfield at the 28 yard line. Again the Terriers getting through that offensive front, a Met Paul. First and 10 Bulldogs from their 40 now. And the quarterback drops the snap. Terriers have claimed they come up with the football. Let's see. Yes, it is. Wofford football. See what the Terriers can do on offense. First down and 10. Two receivers right. Burst into the left. That's the short side. Two backs flanked alongside Mitch Allen out of the gun. He's going to run on the keeper and has a seam to the 35 to the 30. Smack down from behind at the 25 and a half yard line. Mitch Allen runs for close to 15 yards. Wofford working with a short field following the turnover. Second down and about six from the seven yard line. Allen Fakes the dive, curls up, left side of the line to the five. Mitch Allen to the two. Allen stretching out. He'll be stopped at the half-yard line. It's first and goal, Terriers. First and goal for the Terriers. Burst into the left. Ashley comes to the right. Allen out of the gun. Flanked by two running backs. Handoff. Donovan Johnson straight ahead. Touchdown. Terriers unable to get the kickoff. We've got a break. 10-31 to play. We are in the third quarter here in Charleston. Terriers have Tarek Odom in at the nose. You can see him from all the way up here. He's big. And it's going to be the quarterback, Dupree, faking the dive. Tackled in the end zone. That is a safety. Wow. Give Carden the credit on the tackle, and the Citadel gives the ball up on the safety. Dupree under center, Terriers, three down linemen, handoff, and, well, a fumble maybe? The ball came out. Dupree faked the handoff to his fullback. The ball then hit the ground. Tarek Odom is the nearest man there for Wofford. Cass out of the gun, two backs flanking him either side, and he's going to fake the dive, pitch near corner. That's Dunmeyer. Dunmeyer lowers the boom to the 10, splits defenders, and he is sandwiched down at the 9. Terriers send two receivers to the right with Simmons in the slot, Monroe to the left, double deuce formation, pitch far corner from Cass to Dunmeyer, has a blocker, takes it to the 5, drives to the 2, he'll score standing up, touchdown Terriers. Alex Dunmeyer with the score. Two slots of fullback, one receiver, Adams to the left. And Dupree running the option left, and he is stuck at the line of scrimmage. Ran right into the belly of Josh Holt, who met him in the open field and stuck him for no gain. It is fourth down and two. We're down to two seconds to one, and the Wofford Terriers are winners today in Charleston. 13 times in a row the Wofford Terriers have beaten the Citadel Bulldogs, and they do it uh, relatively easily today here in Charleston. Nice start to the ball game, Coach. You get a touchdown your first drive, a three and out, and then it had to do you some good to see a, a punt return for a score. Huge. Uh, Brenton, playmaker, and anytime that he uh, has an opportunity to 
catch that football, he's going to do something with it. And a lot of times it's, uh, it's big time plays. And uh, fabulous job by the uh, airborne team as, as far as uh, getting on their blocks. No penalties, which was huge. And, uh, and then Brenton took it to the house. Uh, we've worked really hard uh, on the kicking game this week. And uh, it was because of how good uh, the Citadel is with their kicking game. And we know that uh, that if you're going to win a championship, you've got to be solid in all three phases. Uh, we came down, we played a football team, quite frankly, that scared us to death. Uh, after looking at that last quarter and I think five minutes of that Chattanooga game, you'd have to be crazy not to, not to be a little bit fearful of what they're capable of. Uh, they're getting better uh, week after week, and it's a situation where uh, they're, they're going to get their fair share of wins as well. And uh, we tried to focus on coming here and, and doing what we do. Um, we, we didn't do anything fancy or any trick plays or anything like that. We were just trying to, to do what we do. We felt that we had a good matchup with our front versus their front uh, on both sides of the ball. And I think uh, our first group played lights out as far as defense. Uh, I'm not sure how many negative plays we put them into, but uh, it was a bunch of them. And very happy. Uh, pleased with uh, our kids, uh, the attitude that they took. Uh, a lot of times you go into a game like this and uh, you're not exactly sure, do, are they hearing you? And uh, they, they heard us loud and clear and they came out and did a great job. All right, Eric, a good ball game in that uh, the offense got to get a lot of different people into the ball game. Uh, talk about that first half when, when you guys were able to jump out to that 28 nothing lead. Yeah, we did a great job. Offensive line really dominated the front and uh, I think defensive line did a great job too, um, but we were just just rolling. And uh, when we get a little momentum, it's hard to stop. Even you know whatever personnel's in there, we had the momentum the whole game, and they were able to do some big things. Alvin, you, you play an option offense all the time in practice. You you beat an option offense today. What was it like defending a team that runs something similar to what the Terriers run? Well, we, we go against the same option every day at practice, like you said, and so we, we're pretty used to you know it's most of assignment football defense and. If you do that, then you get the stops like we did out the other day. So with a 43-14 victory here at the Citadel, the Terriers up their overall record to 4-1. and one. They are now 3-0 and oh in Southern Conference play. Next up for Wofford, a home game at Gibbs Stadium next Saturday as they step out of conference play to take on the Virginia Wise Highland Cavaliers. That'll be a 1-30 kickoff. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser.